Today, Executive Mosaic is singing the praises of two private sector juggernauts in light of their induction to the 2023 WASH 100 class. Catchy CEO John Mangucci and Lockheed Martin Space General Manager Maria Demarie were commended in Executive Gov sister publications GovCon Wire and Executive Biz. In the area of engineering modernization, Amentum CEO John Heller said unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, and counter UAVs hold great potential for the future of defense and represent a major growth market for the company. Watch Heller's video interview at executivemosaic.com. Avril Haines, Director of National Intelligence and a 2023 WASH 100 awardee, has announced the appointment of Charles Luftig as Deputy Director of National Intelligence for Policy and Capabilities. The U.S. Army has delivered initial armored multipurpose vehicles, manufactured by BAE Systems, to the 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team of Fort Stewart's 3rd Infantry Division. The U.S. Department of State has revealed plans to implement the International Technology Security and Innovation Fund to help ensure the expansion and security of the semiconductor supply chain and information and communications technology in compliance with the CHIPS and Science Act. Air Force Global Strike Command's innovation arm has launched a new competition to develop technology designed to counter threats posed by small unmanned aerial systems. A hybrid metal 3D printer was installed on a U.S. Navy ship for the first time through the collaboration of the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, the Naval Surface Force Atlantic and Naval Sea Systems Command Technology Office. The National Security Agency has issued a cybersecurity information sheet offering recommendations to help system operators and owners mature identity, credential and access management capabilities to prevent cyber attacks. Join GovConWire's event's third annual AF at Modernization and Transformation Forum on March 21, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. The Small Business Administration detailed in a new report that there are approximately 1.3 million U.S.-based small businesses that export products, a nearly five-fold increase over previous estimates. DARPA has selected three university teams to help tackle a program that seeks to mitigate risks associated with biomanufacturing in space.